On this Saturday, Christmas Eve, Robert Jeffers reminds us, what if there was no Christmas? What would we do? What if Jesus didn't come? Profound thoughts. Spend a few minutes and hear what he has to say. If there were no Christmas, we would have no friend in heaven who understands this. That's and finally true. today, if there were no Christmas, if Christ had not come, there would be no hope of life beyond the grave. Again, Job, the Old Testament patriarch who lived 4,000 years ago, he asked the most important, profound question of human existence. If a man dies, will he live again? Don't you agree when you think about it? That's the bottom line question. When I close my eyes for the very last time here on earth, is that it? Or is there a life? Is there hope beyond the grave? If a person dies, shall he live again? The birth, the death, the resurrection of Jesus Christ answers that question. There is life beyond the grave. As the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 15, as in Adam all die, so those who are in Christ shall all be made alive. I mean, it's unstated, but it's obvious. If there were no Christmas, if Christ had not come, there would be no one who could have paid for our sins and conquered death for once and for all. Without Christmas, there would be no Easter. Without a manger in Bethlehem, there would be no empty tomb in Jerusalem. But the fact is, Christ did come, and he conquered death, and he promised those who trust in him will also one day conquer death. I realize Christmas is a bittersweet time for many people. Especially but if you miss the gift that God gives for Christmas, that he sent his son that no man would perish, well then you've missed the greatest gift of any Christmas. It's not what's under your tree. It's the one who hung on a tree for you and for me. Christ died while we were yet sinners, and we still sin. That doesn't mean we should continue to sin. But even when we didn't like him, maybe when, even when we hated him, maybe we didn't want to follow him, we didn't want nothing to do with him, we didn't want to know about Jesus. You know what? He still loved us, and he went to the cross for us. And he paid for those sins and the forgiveness of those sins when we finally realized our need of a Savior. That is the greatest gift of all mankind. The creator of all things, the universe and every, everything that was ever made came and sacrificed himself for us. That we might get to see the Father and that we might be adopted into his family and that we might spend eternity with him. This is but no guarantees. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100 years and then you're done. Can a man live again? That's the question. The greatest gift of Christmas is given by Christ.